Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jane Keach. I have recently got back into walking as part of my Get Fit and Keep Fit Challenge. We downloaded the Wilts Walks app from Play Store and decided to go on the Westbury White Horse Walk. There were three walks to choose from and we chose the three and a half miles walk. So, armed with water and some snacks, we set off on a gloriously sunny but very breezy day. We set the app to the start of the walk and it guided us through the walk using the map and GPS. After parking the car, we stopped at the information board which pointed out some old burial mounds from about 3,000 years ago and the site of an old Iron Age fort from about 2,000 years ago. Here is a panorama view at the start of the walk, which was literally breathtaking in the breeze at the top of the hill. Then we walked above the white horse itself, which was originally just cut out of the chalk to show an outline of an animal which might have been a horse. It is now definitely as a horse, as over the years it has been changed by different people. There is a lot of debate as to how the horse was started, but according to the local tourist board and Wikipedia, which gives a lot of references as to its sources of information, it might have first been cut into the hill in 1742 to commemorate King Alfred's victory in a battle which took place in AD 878, the Battle of Etherden, now known as Bratton Camp. It has been renovated over the years and changed shape and has had graffiti removed and been cleaned. In the 1950s, it seemed like a good idea to cover it in concrete by a local cement works to save on maintenance cost. It is regularly kept clean by volunteers. The views along the walk. Sheep roam freely. Old farm equipment smile as you pass by. Nature's pantry held lots of produce if you wanted to make jellies, jams, cordials and wines. When was the last time this gate was used and who by? Down a lovely hedgerow walk full of flowers and again full of lovely produce. With the light gently filtering through the leaves, After walking through Woodland, we went through a part of Bratton and came to St James's Church. It is a very interesting church, which used to cover Bratton and the small hamlet of Littlestoke. Littlestoke died out in the plague. I will put a link to the church below the video. And then we got lost. The map showed a big rounded path which didn't match up with the narrow path close to the church, 
So we ended up in some brambles, as you do. However, we did see this, what looked like a fast water wheel, perhaps generating electricity? Not sure. Back on the correct path, we then meandered around the church and climbed a steep hill, not for the faint-hearted, but good for the heart. Captured this butterfly. And then came to the top of the hill again, out to some farmland where a farmer was busy. Lovely purple thistles and red poppies were around the edge of the fields. And the hay was all baled up, ready to go before the rains. Another random unused gate. Directions change. Not used anymore. Then on to another road, meandering back to the car park, with stunning views. Although quite blustery, it was warm in the sunshine. Cows were lying down. Was it about to rain? Well, no, it didn't rain. It was a lovely day and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Would we go again? Yes, we would. Would I recommend this walk? Yes, I would. If you live locally or are holidaying in the area, give it a go. You won't be disappointed.